Old man Woody likes the crooked cock. <laughs> so we had one of those paraffin hand waxer things. You ever seen one of those? Oh, but it's you, but you, you heat it up, right? Yeah, and then you soak yeah, your you hand heat it in up, the warm and all wax. This paraffin wax becomes liquid, and then you put your hands in it, and when you pull them out, you've got like this. It hardens on your hands, and you've got like this glove on your hands. And I had this idea: stick my dick in there, and I'll have like a a masturbatory toy that's custom made for my dick, right? But it, can you, uh, how old are you at the time? Just to fucking thirteen. Stage. My 13, wax okay. thing was really hot. Really hot. <laughs> Way okay, tell, too tell hot. <laughs> so, so I crank this. Like I'm burning. home alone. I'm home alone. I crank this bad boy up and get the wax nice and liquid. And I'm like, oh, well, what position do I need? You know, it's on the counter in the kitchen. Like, 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 like I'm not gonna American Pie this bad boy. I'm not getting up on the counter. So I, I sit the thing on the floor. And I, I sort of get in a push-up position mm-hmm. with a hard on, yes, and do. I lower myself into it. And you know how, like, when you grab something hot, it takes a moment before you feel it. Yes. You know, like, like <laughs> you the way. I was about three quarters of the way in before I realized I'd made a serious error. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Were your balls at so all in I, there? I, uh, the balls did not go. I, I, I think I was in one of those. You know, the, the balls are, are an interesting organ. You know, sometimes they're 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 hanging low, and sometimes they mm. they, they, they mm-hmm. suck right up. The balls. Thanks, knew, I didn't know that. The, Truly, I, nature's I, mystery. Oh. The ball. <laughs> <laughs> what secrets do okay. the balls hold? <laughs> All right. Now I'll tell you this: my balls were smarter than my brain at this mm. point because they knew they mm-hmm. needed. <laughs> They need to hide from this hot molten wax that, that <laughs> I would, I would slowly lower into, like something from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Mm. All right, remember when they're lowering them in the into the lava? That's what's happening to my cock right now. I shriek, of course, as soon as I start feeling that there's like 140 degree wax all over my cock, and I like roll off the thing on my back, and I start trying to like, you know, pull the wax off my burnt cock. But but it was it it was it was painful for like a week afterwards, and I, I learned my lesson. I definitely learned my lesson from that. But I also uh, one time I was um, having a video chat with a young lady, and she was doing some things for me, and uh, and 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 she was I was like, well, what would you like to see me do? And she's like, I want to see you fuck something. And I was like, <gasps> I was How old like, are you oh. this time? 37, 39. <laughs> uh, this was earlier today, actually. Like 25. <laughs> and, uh, and so I'm like, well, all right, what, what the fuck? What, what am I going to fuck? She's like, what do you got? I had a pumpkin. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I, uh, I have a pumpkin here. She's like, yeah. Fuck Did you put pumpkin. like an, an emoji afterward, like coily? <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. I've got a pumpkin here, winky face. I swear to God, I put a sad face on that pumpkin <gasps> because I thought it was funny. And uh, <laughs> and so, like, I point the frowny face at the camera, and I, and I cut a hole in the back. And so I'm fucking the pumpkin, and he's looking. It's a, it's a man pumpkin. This was gay pumpkin sex. And he's looking super upset about it. Um, mm. Wasn't that bad, I'm going to no? say. Wasn't Did you guess the up? crust of a pumpkin, the shell? I don't know what to call it. Not good for fucking. The rind, okay. I would say. Um, well, the outer part. Make the hole big enough, right? So that's not part of the deal. Certainly did. Well, well, there, you know, I'm I'm rubbing around the edges, right? You know, mm. I, I'm making sure that you know that maybe the top of the penis is definitely getting some getting, getting some friction. But there's a lot of pulp on the inside of the pumpkin. You know, you, you've dug out a pumpkin maybe sure. before to make a jack-o'-lantern. Yucky. So I made sure to hit the pumpkin nice and low and sort of an upward position so I hit the pumpkin's G-spot. I, I was hoping he would enjoy some of this, and but they kept frowning. Kept frowning. And, and I, so I'm, I'm fucking the pulp now, and the pulp felt pretty good. I didn't finish inside the pumpkin because, you know, I... I, I <laughs> I've what got some do, uh, standards you... when it comes to pumpkin fucking. <laughs> yeah, look, I'll, I'll fuck the pumpkin's mouth, but I'm a classy boy who will finish on the outside of the pumpkin. That's right. That's right. I'm not going to give this pumpkin a cream pie. I mean, we're making pie out of this thing tomorrow. Two, three years well, into did, our uh... marriage, my um, my wife and I bought these VHS tapes on like yes. how to be better lovers. And there was a tape for him and a tape for her, and we watched our respective tapes. 
And one of hers was like, your man might like this. Buy a tomato, cut out the middle, microwave it, and you can jerk him off with it. And she shows it to me, and she's like, huh? And I'm like, eh. <laughs> so we haven't done that. But uh, There is nothing messier than getting beaten off with a tomato. <laughs> Like what, what? How could that possibly be pleasurable? You're just thinking about all the laundry you're going to have to do and the fucking steam cleaner you're going to have to buy. Like, no, you shouldn't do that. But Kyle, yeah. I want to know when you when you when you saw the pumpkin after you'd closed the chat after the night was over <laughs> after you had finished wherever you did and you saw that pumpkin that you fucked. What went through your head? I hope it doesn't go bad before tomorrow night. Did you actually eat that pumpkin? <laughs> no, I threw the fucking pumpkin away. What am I, a madman? Do you even eat pumpkins? Do we? Oh yeah, I guess pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. Pumpkin what am I pie. Thinking? Yeah. You Are know there... what? Pumpkin. Pumpkin must suck serious cock as far as food is concerned because it's enormous. And what do people eat? Just pumpkin pie. What else do they... pumpkin seeds? I guess. The, the but that's seeds... a giant. I want to say Giant Starbucks has a pumpkin spice latte. I don't know if any pumpkins are killed in the making of it, but it's a thing. That's just a lot of sugar and artificial sweetener. I, I doubt there's much actual pumpkin. The pumpkin is the dumbest crop. If, <laughs> if I were a dictator, I'd ban it. Frankly, like, except I in love cases of fucking. Pie. Every time I have pumpkin pie, I just get a raging heart on. I I I have to finish right there. Can you, uh, Grandma? Do you mind if? Could you draw a man's frowny face on my pumpkin pie? <laughs> it's the only way I can enjoy it. I need him. I don't want him to enjoy it. No. Oh, I, I wanted to ask ask you about uh, the, the wax removal, too, because you went past that. So, yeah. like, I've done that with my foot before, where you, like, put... I also did... Uh, I uh, My mom had one of those, like, foot wax things that, yeah. and, like, hand wax things that we would do. And I remember I, uh, I, took, <laughs> I took a bunch of my younger brother's toys and dipped them all in the wax and, <laughs> and nothing ruins an action figure like being dipped in wax because you just you can't peel it all off it's always or there a penis a or a penis I'd like to you point know, out I, or a pe- both the, don't do either <laughs> don't dip anything other than your hands and feet in wax solid point mysterious yes what uh oh, what how did you peel the wax off did it come off in like a sleeve the way it does on the glove oh, or were you like much. tearing strips off your cock now, see, for it to harden to that point, I would. It takes a while. Like you dip in there, and then you like let whatever you've dipped in sit for like a good couple minutes because it's got to mm-hmm. cool down and solidify. So when I started tearing the wax off, it, it was still like a a weird like vi- liquid. It was still in like a it was still like a molten condition when I was just trying to get it off. So you know, I didn't have any. Uh, it, it wasn't that difficult or anything like that. But my cock was so soft. And supple, and hydrate. Oh, I bet it was. Yeah. Did you kind of enjoy that part of it, where you're like, man, this is the softest cock? <laughs> no, my <laughs> cock was like red, and I couldn't touch it for like three days. It was, it was awful. It burnt the shit on my cock. It was terrible. It was an awful experience. What he told the story of the first time he ever came, I think I remember the first time something ever came out. And I don't remember how old I was, maybe like 11. And I remember going... Like, having it happen, being like, oop, guess I peed a little at the end there, and got up, went to the bathroom, saw, clearly not pee, and I remember <laughs> I, I remember thinking, like, should I go bring my, like, parents' attention to this or something? Like, should, should I, like, let somebody know that this happened? Like, is this bad? And I, I don't know what it was, because I was always, like, a, a ang- anxious little kid, like, always wanting to, like, be sure of things. And I was like, no, you know what? Let's sit on this one for a while. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I don't want to walk in there and go, Mom, Dad, I was tugging on my, on my cock, and, <laughs> and this came out. They're like, you're 11. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, when I, I'm when so I glad first, I didn't confront When that. I first figured out masturbation, I really enjoyed it, and I did it a lot. And you I remember one it. day, I believe <laughs> the number was six, maybe wow. seven times. On the last time, a little blood came out. Instead of cum, blood came out. No. And I, I was yeah, yeah. And I was like, seven is too many. Seven is too many. <laughs> <laughs> How many times will you jack off today? One, <laughs> two, <laughs> a, a three. Ah, seriously, four. Ah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, maybe se- five. Oh, blood will come out soon, child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I seven. That, that's yeah. that's a really 
That's, I, I don't think that's, think that's not big to me. I've had sex ten times in a day. Yeah. Ten times in a day? It wasn't a day. It was 24 hours, which is, you know. so That's day. still a lot. To, to completion? Yeah. Ten times? That's insane. It only, it, it only took 30 minutes, though, so. Yeah, the, uh. <laughs> early on, less than that. <laughs> you know, the, one of the reasons you go for two is the first one was only three minutes long. <laughs> you know, like, hey, we, ten times, got at least 30, 40 pumps in there. <laughs> <laughs> I came to, you came ten times, she came once. It's, 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 it, it works out, it works out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many times she came, but probably less than ten. I bet women's orgasms are just noticing how they are when they come. It seems like it's so much better than ours. So you get little looks <laughs> you're like, God, your orgasm seems so intense and good, and like it lasts for a while, and then you have your little shitty male orgasm, and like this is this isn't fair. Like, I think you might be right. Also, I like that their orgasm doesn't make a ton of mess, right? Like it can, it can, but like you know. It, it, there are girls who can just wiggle in their seats in biology class and, and bring themselves to orgasm. And there are no guys. If they've who had do their that. clitoral hood removed, as God <laughs> intended, <laughs> when, when Sarah made her pact with the Lord and Abraham yes. was there, okay, she agreed to remove the clitoral hood from all her daughters there forward. As a, a, a as part of her, it's right her, here, Leviticus eighteen twenty one. Thou you. shalt remove the clit hood, for it is gross. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that being out of the pod, God damn it! Let, let's get some work done, and uh, and and so and the then biology spoke. class will be that much better. Yeah, for Chemistry. sure. Yeah, women are pressed and... to find another pro female circumcision <laughs> podcast to promote your Patreon. No, this is a. Uh... You got this is the hottest take I've heard so far on it. <laughs> well, see the difference is like like what you hear about female genital mutilation is when they remove the clitoris. Mm, they so scrape it right that. off. And we are not for that. No. Because that's all about asserting dominance over the woman so that she honestly it's so that she's less likely to stray from her husband because now she it's much more difficult for her to achieve an orgasm. Unless it's a, a, a penetration orgasm. She can no longer achieve a clitoral orgasm because she doesn't have one. And, of course, that is the easier orgasm for a woman to achieve. He, he's, he's checking out on this one. He'll mm. be back. He just probably got disconnected or something. But uh, 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 the, the, the removal of the clitoral hood is the complete opposite of a female genital mutilation. It's to improve the lady's uh, ability to achieve an orgasm. Yeah. See, but, like, they want that hood there. So that their clit isn't always being stimulated by like, you know, sitting down. Or oh yeah, because you, is your cock always being stimulated like like just from your pants? No, no. You you, you become an adult and your your cock is just fine in there. You're not constantly getting like hard ons anymore. I'm sure or coming in your pants probably, and and, and so it's fine. Well, and the same would be true. Judgment. Well, all of us know. blow a wad in our pants from time to time. You know, there are those creepy guys that I guess are go you to the a strip club. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. They go to the strip club in like sweatpants with no underwear, so that the chick is like getting actual friction like on their cock, and they blow in their pants, and that's their whole fucking goal when they go in there. I've yeah. always thought that's pretty fucking creepy, right? Like, like, like I don't know if creepy is the right way. Right, right. No, way. you're right. You're right. It's creepy. Like I remember Jim Norton speaking about this on O and A, like old O and A episodes. And he, I don't remember who it was, but he's talking about this dude he used to go to strip clubs with. And he's like, and this guy would wear sweatpants that were 20 years old because they were super threadbare. thin, worn down. You know, yeah, threadbare. And under that, he would wear like silk underwear and he would coat his penis and balls in lubricant <laughs> prior, prior to going. And so with that combined with uh, the, the silk underwear and the thin sweatpants, he would get lap dances, and he would come in his pants just from, uh, just from the rubbing. That's all it would be. And so I think that falls pretty squarely in the creepy category. Yeah, it's pretty rough. His phone died. He'll be back in a moment. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty that's, – again, I don't know if creepy is necessarily the word. It, it's kind of it, – it, it's desperate for sure, but it's also like I don't think those chicks are down for that. Like, like I guess some of them are. You know, if you pay I mean, them like, enough. Like I don't know. I, I want. Uh, can you hear us, Asterios? 
Yeah, sorry, my uh, my phone just died. I switched to my computer. Uh, let me. It, you can you guys a... see me? Oh, there no. we go. Oh, there we are. Whoa! Fell a little too low on that. Oh, well, uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. We were, uh, almost saw your pumpkin. That's <laughs> no. There's no. There's a very unhappy face on my pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> making you horny. We were we're having a debate on creepiness. Is it creepy? Well, you're, well, if you're you go, to the right guy. What do you got? Yes, <laughs> yes. If you go to a strip club in threadbare, very thin uh, pajama pants, sweatpants kind of thing, and you wear silk boxers under that, and you coat your cock and balls in in lube prior, <laughs> and then you have the woman lap dance on you, and then you blow in your pants. Is that creepy, or is it industrious? <laughs> Here's what I think. I've heard strippers talk about, like, when they see a guy coming in in, like, thin gym shorts, they're just like, <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Like, <laughs> they know, they like, they get, but at the they same time, it. it's kind of like, well, you're at a strip club, so are you really that worried about how you're coming off to the world? Mm-hmm. Like, if, like, you know, you're kind of in, you're in, like, the headquarters for degeneracy, so you might as well go all the way. Fair enough. I like that perspective. I think it's creepy, but I also give them quite a bit of industrious points. Like, you know, they're they're getting a lot of bang for their buck. Yeah, I want to know what the girls think. Like, if a guy comes in in thin pants, <clears throat> it doesn't seem like they should be judging, right? He's still wearing much more than they are. <sighs> Why are they on their yeah, high but they're horse? Not, he's not paid to dance around. Like, well, they uh, can... oh, I totally agree that a, a stripper taking a high horse moral stance is silly. <laughs> but I don't think it's necessarily a moral stance. To be like, hey, you know what? I don't care for it when guys wear thin pants and come near my well. Near my ass. Are, are guys blowing loads from dancers? Yes, well, that's that, what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that was that was the thing. Well, it's that like, was your you thing. Would... I get it, but I mean, in reality, yeah. is this a thing that guys commonly do? I never blew a load because of a dancer. Like, well, that's no, because no, no, you she, didn't when, go in there because <laughs> I wasn't industrious. It, it's a well, no, it, it's a lap dance, is what I'm saying. So she's like grinding mm-hmm. her ass on his genital region mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and usually if he was wearing jeans or something like you wouldn't get stimulation on your dick from that but he Shaved. intentionally wears threadbare sweatpants I follow the scenario and, yeah. I had advanced okay. it to are guys doing anything like this do guys who show up in doctors actually blow loads not that I know of right well I don't know you wouldn't want you wouldn't want an oyster wear... running down your leg if you're wearing dockers that'll show up yeah, yeah, they don't do it in Dockers. They, like, like specifically, they wear sweatpants with no underwear. And, and yeah, the idea is that they're going to get off from the mm. lap dance. Lots of guys do this. I didn't know that. I always thought the strip club was just about the tease. Uh, no, I, I, almost every strip club I've ever gone to that I was propositioned to, uh, to, uh, by, by, to pay for sex or just to fuck one or the other. Mm. Scotty always had better luck than I did with the with the... With the strippers, uh, he like when we went to uh, they were, we were in Louisville that time, and uh, I had been paying this bitch all night long, and I was like, hey, you you, you want to come back with uh, me and Scotty to the hotel now that we're gonna share her? Because Scotty had already locked down his stripper, mm. he'd already fucked his stripper the night before, and I was like, I'm gonna get one too, and she's like, yeah, 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 and I'm just fucking making it rain over there, you know, I'm like three hundred dollars in, and I'm and and. She didn't show up. She didn't fucking show up to the hotel. Scotty's over there in the adjoining room banging the shit out of like an 8 out of 10. Mm. Like a super hot stripper. Just the best looking stripper in the place. Was your stripper as hot? I guess not. No. No, No, she wasn't. I would have thought that would increase your odds. I was just thinking about this before your story went on. Like, you know what? Hottest stripper in the place. Maybe not the one you target. Right? Maybe she's a little harder to score. I strategically picked one that I thought would be down. Mm. That I that I thought that I could I I could get. Was back there a to lot it. of strategy in deciphering which stripper you think is down to? It's Absolutely hard to figure out is. which one's Absolutely. slutty at the strip club. <laughs> Look, you got to think about it this way. Like, like this is the kind of woman that would never dance with no clothes for money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you've ever. <laughs> She's classy. Yeah. I don't know if you ever played the slot machines in Vegas or anything no. like that. But but like. The more you play one, the more likely it is to pay off. It's not random every time like rolling dice. They have an algorithm, so they're going to pay off at a certain point. They, they, they're they going to. So what some people will do is they'll watch somebody play the machine and load it up, and they'll predatorily jump on it when that person leaves. So they let the, the other person be the sucker. I had to pick a stripper for, at the beginning of the night to start 
pulling the slot on all night, right? I couldn't be spreading my quarters all over the place. That's that's madness. You got to pick one. And I I made my I I, cho- I chose poorly, like fucking Indiana Jones again. <laughs> This time, uh, in the what was the Ark of the Covenant? Yeah, no, it was the uh, it was the whoever Raiders the fucking of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I chose poorly, and <laughs> and fucking my cock withered away to like a skeleton, like that Nazi's head did. It was it was a real fucking error. I I, I definitely was like three hundred dollars in. She didn't get all my money. I had like I had a lot of money on me at the time, but it, it was three hundred dollars of wasted fucking money on this chick. But she had an awesome, like, like her, like all strippers had like a signature move. I've found the good ones anyway. Hers, Hers was, was the Hepsi twist. Yes, <laughs> yes, that was it. No, she would go way up the pole. She'd climb up the pole and then she'd drop. Mm. She would just fucking free fall down, and her ass. She had a huge ass. White, white chick would slam onto the fucking like plexiglass. So hard it looked like she should be hurt, but it would it would just it would pop. It would like make a plop noise every time she'd do it, and then she'd start like twerking her ass like on the thing, and it's like plop 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 plop, and I'm just like doling out the ones over there, just fucking going to town. I I paid the forty dollars for the double private dance, got four songs. They play the really short songs in there, you by the, the way. You never thirty dollars for the ATM fee at the yeah, damn yeah, Never club. once have I gone yeah. back, gone back to get a lap dance, and she's like, "Yeah, yeah, twenty dollars for two songs." And then you get back to here, bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Right. No, no, you're not playing ballads. It's, it's some like two minute song. Like, <laughs> yeah, they've never been like, all right, yeah. gotta yeah. have it. It's like it's like this. This sounds like two minutes long. <laughs> it's never been like in a Gata de Vida. Where it's like, oh, all right, I got twenty five minutes to do this. No, never. They know their game. They know what's up. It's so like uh, weird so, yeah. Al. <laughs> like, just, like, Ninety yeah. second songs. Uh, I've only we, been to one strip club in my entire life, ever. Only once. And it, man. I like, haven't I, been to many. Jackie doesn't like it. I stop. I haven't been to one in probably twenty years. I've been to uh, I haven't been to a ton. I I honestly don't like them, but some t- I've been in a lot of like I don't know situations like meeting people in foreign cities and stuff, and they'll take you out on the town. And so um, I guess maybe it was Tampa or Cocoa Beach or something. I went to like three in one night, and the guy I was with knew like he frequented these places and frequently dropped like thousands of dollars. So they were like giving us the VIP treatment, and we were I was getting the, like. They were getting naked, you know. I was getting to touch pussy, and then they were they were showing me pussy, and they're not supposed to do any of that. Like, like mm-hmm. just top, but you know, go in the back room, you do whatever you want. And uh, and definitely in L.A. Um, like like last time I was not last time, but maybe it was Cod XP. Like I was I was at the strip club with a porn star, and um, she and I were like getting private dances from these these girls. And the one girl's like, you know, I could come back to your hotel with you too. And I was like, I looked at the the porn star, and I was like, "What do you think?" And she's like, "I think she's probably got herpes." <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you know, I'm thinking like, jo- jokes on you. The porn star's so- big time in the stripper. That's not <laughs> yes. nice. And I'm thinking to myself like, jokes on you, bitch. So do I. <laughs> 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 I don't have herpes, and uh, and and so like, I'm thinking to myself like, I think the stripper's hotter than the porn star. Maybe I can work something out where I fuck the porn star and then the stripper shows up after I get rid of the porn star and I just fuck them both tonight. Mm. And so I'm like, and so like in earnest, I start negotiating with the stripper. I'm like, well, how much would something like that cost? You know, and she's like, ah, like $400 for half an hour. And I'm like, half an hour would probably do it. Um, Is there an ATM over here? Not with her. Well, I mean, I'm already going to have to uh, uh, three times jokes. and half an work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and, judging uh, but, you harshly, but not for that. So go ahead. <laughs> it, it just didn't work out. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't pay her for any uh, any sex or anything like that. I just went back with the young lady that I that I had already acquired. And uh, thank God you didn't, because I I didn't know this until I looked it up just now. That's illegal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they call it prostitution. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to be paying her for the sex. The sex was was on the house. I would only be paying her for a bit of nude modeling that I was interested in. I was going to take some nude photographs of her. Can you do this like a? Uh, can you look a little? Uh, 
despondent over into the corner there. All right, now try that with my cock in your mouth. I would try a little. Oh, you already are. Excellent. <laughs> 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 this is called salty face. <laughs> oh man! Uh, it's funny because women are objects. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Oh, uh, they shouldn't be able to vote. No, Mm-mm. no. Well, well, I'm glad we all agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> Three fifths of a vote, maybe. I'll meet him halfway, <laughs> roughly. <laughs> yeah, what I call it compromise. Yeah, those uh, those strip clubs. Like, I'd like. There's one here that my girlfriend now is like, oh, it'd be fun. Like, let's go to this strip club, and like, it's not just a strip club; it's like a nightclub kind of thing. Yeah. It's called Pops, and it's in East St. Louis, which is the most dangerous place in the country by far. It's like oh. a couple a couple miles from here, and they're they got grandfathered in, so they are a 24 hour seven days a week strip and nightclub you can go there at 5 a.m on a sunday and there will be people drinking and looking at strippers there you can go there anytime at all people got shot outside there i think two weekends ago and so that's why i'm not too too set on going did they close though or did they stay oh no there are there are shootings there all the time like (laughs) in that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> 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 ah, I ended on that note. I love the that word play. That was the best shit I've ever heard.